Hello and welcome to another episode of Kuma's Kitchen. Now tonight we've got a little fusion happening here and this all started because of a conversation I had with a couple of uh, Kuma's Kitchen patrons. That's uh, Aaron and Matthew and we we're talking about fusion and different ideas and how I like to cook with cheese and I was like you know I'm gonna make yaki mesh with cheese one day and uh, I was like oh yeah great idea you know so he said when, when, when are you gonna do it so did it right away um, I'm calling this uh, bacon and cheese yaki mesh or a Swiss Japanese fried rice <laughs> so yaki mesh is actually Japanese for fried rice and uh, we eat it a lot. And now here's actually a little point about um, etiquette when you're when eating in Japan. You know, usually we eat with chopsticks. Fried rice is one of the things you can eat with a spoon. And usually it'll be served up with a spoon. Uh, yes, you can eat it with chopsticks too most of the time, but a lot of it, it gets, uh, especially dry fried, where the kernels all just fall apart. It's very, well, it's pretty well impossible to eat with chopsticks. So. Then we use a spoon. Of course, this one here is really sticking together with all that cheese. Got big chunks of bacon in there. Got shiitake mushrooms in there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, that is a very good fusion of the Swiss and the Japanese cultures together. Yeah. <laughs> That's dinner tonight. It could be your dinner tonight or tomorrow night or whenever. Let's go to the kitchen and make some right now. All right, to make this uh, Swiss Japanese combo yaki mesh. Well, here are the ingredients. Across the front, I've got two eggs. I've got one tablespoon of olive oil, one green onion, which I've chopped up. So you got, yeah, about a quarter cup or so of that. Uh, half an onion, finely chopped. I don't want it too coarse, I just want it fine. Over here, this is seven ounces or 200 grams of bacon block. I love this bacon block. Um, and I basically chopped it up into about quarter inch, five millimeters, five millimeter, six millimeter pieces like that. Basically, kind of even sizes so that they cook quite evenly. Over here, I've got uh, anywhere between six and seven shiitake mushrooms. This time I had six really nice shiitake mushrooms. And what I've done is uh, I've cut them usually, I usually think, like to slice them quarter inch or five millimeters thick. But then I've also cut them in half. That just gives us more pieces of uh, mushroom in our yaki mesh. Then over here, the cheeses. Well, I've got uh, four ounces or 110 grams of Gruyere cheese. That's gonna have a lot of flavor. It packs the flavor in there. And then the Emmental, which is more melty. I've got uh, six ounces or 170 grams of Emmental. Afterwards, I'm gonna mix the cheeses together. And over here, the rice. Well, that's about three cups of cooked rice. So, ready to go. It's all gonna go in there. First thing we're gonna do is, well, we're gonna bring this pan up to heat on medium heat. And add in the olive oil. All right, bring that up to heat a bit. Let's just kinda get that all over the place in there. Smooth it around across the frying pan. All right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna get the onions and the bacon going. So in goes the onion, in goes that bacon. Gonna cook that, stirring around occasionally, for about eight to 10 minutes. Soften up the, uh, the onions, get a little browning start on the bacon, and then we'll be back and add some more ingredients. All right, see you then. All right, so that's been cooking for just about 10 minutes. We get a little bit of browning starting to happen. What I'm gonna do now is add in the mushrooms. And do the same thing for another five to six minutes. I'm gonna brown up those mushrooms a bit. That bacon's gonna brown up some more. The onions, oh, it's gonna be really delicious. All right, see you back here, five to six minutes. All right, so that bacon has browned up some more. Yeah, soften up the mushrooms a little bit. 
the browning on them that is absolutely perfect right there so what we're gonna do now is get the rice in there <laughs> Japanese rice it just comes out of one big lump I'm just gonna have to break that up I want to get the rest of that it is quite sticky so you have to get it out of the bowl there we go all right now we're also going to add in the uh, green onions. Let's get the cheese off to one side. First, let's break up that rice a bit. Okay. Sprinkle the green onions around. Oh, oh, where? There. All right. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to break up the rice and, whoops, mix in the bacon and the mushrooms and the onions and all get it all nicely combined together so i want all that rice to be nice and loose and what's going to happen is if you cook it like this it will break apart and you won't have sticky rice anymore of course if you're doing this with uh western rice well you're not going to have this are you it's just going to be loose ready all right we're going to cook that for about a two three minutes just doing this breaking it up stirring it around Let's see you back then. All right, that's looking good. All mixed in there, broken up all that rice. What I'm gonna do now is grab the bowl that that rice was in. You know, why make extra dishes? And crack the eggs into here. So one, two, And just quickly whisk those up. All right, and then I drill that around here into the rice. Grab that one, get all that egg out there. All right, that's looking good. Now I'm just gonna, this is gonna cook real quick. I don't overcook the eggs, so just kind of quickly around. And there, look at that, it's coming together. It's starting to cook already. Doesn't have to be 100% cooked. All right, that's looking good. Now, the cheese. So what I want to quickly do is I want to mix the uh, Gruyere, the Emmental, that's gonna distribute the Gruyere throughout the Emmental, and then in it goes. We get the cheese in there, let's just get that out of the way there. And I'm gonna quickly get that cheese down into the rice. And that's it, heat starting to melt it. Just keep going until the cheese is melted. Now you're gonna get some of the cheese around the edges that'll brown just a little bit too. That's always delicious. All right, look at that. That's all coming together. Oh, <laughs> that melty cheese in there. Oh, wow. All right, I think I can take that off the heat now. We're done. That's it. It's an easy uh, dish to whip together. I used to make yaki mesh or fried rice all the time when I was a carpenter living by myself in Osaka in the early days because it was quick and easy to make. I come home uh, late after a long day of building houses, didn't have much time, quickly whip something together. Guess what? This is easy to whip together. Look at that. All right. If you like this dish, and who wouldn't? Well, stick around and check out the rest of the uh, original Kevin Riley recipes here on the Kuma's Kitchen channel. And do make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming ones. Now go make this and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>